or good afternoon to all my gorgeous, lovely peeps out there in my universal world of peeps. Yes, today um, I thought it wasn't an actual filming day, um, but what happened was I got a new fr fridge freezer. I had an old fridge freezer that was lent to me. I have to give it back. So we went out and bought ourselves a new one. But the diff, the problem is, y'all know me. I don't do nothing with no measurements. I don't measure my food. I barely measure my weight. So I looked at the picture of this thing online, and I thought, yeah, that looks like about the right size. It's definitely the right price. <gasps> what was I wrong? Yes, I was. Freezer was delivered this morning. Fridge freezer, and it is tiny. So, it meant when I transferred all my food over, I have a lot of extra food that doesn't fit. Now, y'all know the mama. She don't bend it. She spins it. So, I took a lot of food over to Katrina for her and her family. But, I had an awful lot of fish. Now, the problem, get full. Katrina's not on camera today. I've got a new camera woman working with me. Jay, say hi, Jay. Hi. Okay. Yes, y'all know me. I'm the foster carer with a whole bunch of kids out there, and I like to get them involved. So Jay is back with me at the moment, and she is doing my filming. I'm going to try and train her up in the business so she can take some of this pressure off of me. We'll see. But here we go. So, I had lots of fish. Now, you all know that what happens if you've got your fish and your fish defrosts, it's not really good to kind of try and refreeze it. So, as a result, I got to cook it. So, I thought, I want to make something that I've never, ever, ever made before. So, I went online and I just typed in fish dishes. Just see what came up. And something came up and that kind of struck a chord with me. It was white fish with lentils. And paprika, uh, smoked paprika bake. Sound like a dish for the mama. So I went out. Um, the only thing I had to get was some, um, did I say lentils? I didn't mean no lentils. I mean chickpeas. <laughs> so I went to the shop to get some chickpeas. And while I was in the shop, I found these ones. They're black. Well, they're brown, but you know what, you know, brown, I'm brown, they call me black, so what's it, they call them black. And I thought, wonderful, I can do a mixed diversity chickpea dish. So, I've got my black and my white chickpeas, and you take them, and all you have to do is open them, give them a rinse, and then pour them into the bottom of a casserole dish. To that, you add some tomatoes. Now, they also call for a little bit of uh, um, pepper, uh, what do you call that stuff? Parsley. But y'all know me. It's me. I'm the mama. I'm going to mix it up. So, I'm going to add to this dish the cherry tomatoes, which the recipe does call for. But I'm also adding some mixed peppers, okay? So I've got some red, yellow, and green peppers there. I'm also going to add one of these, spring onion, okay? So let me just dice this up for you. These are really big spring onions. This is from my favorite shop in Port Slade, Teba. Love them. It's where you get all your really good Mediterranean dishes and woo! There goes my thing flying away. Fly away. Fly away. Come back to me. Yeah, I do break out in song from time to time. So, throw that in the throw that into it. Then we're gonna add a little bit of sliced chilies, okay? So we're gonna I'm just going to actually dice these up kind of small so that they don't completely take over but it adds a little bit of spice to it. Here we go. So all of that together is what's going to make the um, seasoning for the fish. Yeah, yeah. This is all going to be the base of the fish, okay? And this is good, Jay. I want you to pay attention because soon you're going to be an independent woman out there living on your own. And I want to be invited for dinner. And I want you to be cooking up the recipes that the mama taught you. How's that? Yep. Sound good? Yep. Okay. 
So, we're going to add to this some coriander. Alright, let's just chop that down. Then to this, it calls for some smoked paprika. Now, are you? can you see me, Jay? You looking a little bit casual like that. Am I on camera? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah. This girl, you look like you done went off into the world of the nod. <laughs> keep, it, keep it real. So, I'm going to add some of my own Cajun seasoning because oh, it's so smoky. It's The majority of it is smoked paprika. So, this is going to be perfect. And top it off. You stay there, Jay. Stay on the food because I forgot my olive oil. Let me get my olive oil. It's just here. So, then we're going to top it off with some olive oil. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a whole lot of love. So have a look at that. I mean, that looks really good as it is, almost like a salad, it's like a chickpea salad. But I thought I'm going to put a twist to it. I'm going to add some rocket, okay? I think y'all call this a grula or something like that over there in America. So I'm going to just add a little bit of rocket. And then this, all of this goes into the oven, into a nice hot oven. Just wipe my hands down. To roast. So we're just going to roast this for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out. And then we're going to add our fish on top and put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. So let me get this into the oven. Oh my goodness gracious, I done forgot I even had it in the oven. Well, it's going to be ready because <laughs> I had cooked earlier because I was defrosting. I had a meat pie. So let me take this out of the oven and place our veg into the oven to roast. Okay, so I will come back to you in 15 minutes. Now, as I said, I had a lot of fish that was defrosting and I had to use it. So, I'm going to be using these pieces of fish to go on top. But I thought, because I had so much extra, look at all this extra fish. Um, here, can you kind of come and have a look at it? I've got some salmon there, I've got some prawns, I've got some cod, and I've got some white fish, okay? So, what I decided to do is I'm going to quickly throw this together. I've chopped it all up and I have some onions in the bottom of this uh, bowl and I figured why don't we make some fish cakes really quickly because uh, what's that green? Uh, this is my cake that thank you good question well spotted camera woman it's my wet jerk seasoning so you can get the recipe for that it's on the line um, the recipe for this my fish cakes and salt fish cakes are also there so you guys are lucky, you're getting two videos in one. So you're getting a recap. Except this time I haven't actually used salt fish. I'm just using a mix. So this is my mixed fish cakes. So I'm gonna add a nice amount of salt to this. And I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of curry powder. Because let's let's spice it up. Let's make it a little bit different. I'm also going to add all of this coriander here, and there's some spring onions, additional. Let's give that a mix. And to this, we then have to add there's some big bits in here. Let's take those out. They didn't get chopped properly. We have to add some flour, okay? So let's just, woo! Let's get some flour in. And some, what's this, Jay? Ghee. <laughs> no, change <laughs> seasoning, you know. That girl, y'all get used to her. Because I'm telling you, anything can come out of that mouth. But we love it. Okay, so we're going to mix some flour in. <laughs> girl, she's talking about the campaign that I'm doing. Um, and it ain't even been released. And she's been letting my secrets out. <laughs> Okay, to this, we're going to add some beer. Okay, I like lagers. And what it does, it helps 
crisp it up. Holds it all together nicely. There we go. Let's let that go. Oh, lovely. This is going to be good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, we'll leave that to just sit for a minute because I think it's time to get my chickpeas out. So, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Because the last time I did this, I sat my thing down and nearly burnt, burnt my tablecloth. So, here we go. So, you can see. All right. So here's it our. Smells nasty. And they smell good. Our roasted chickpeas. My mixed chickpeas. My interracial dish. Black and white together. Forever. Okay, so at this stage, we just simply lay the fish over the top. And then it calls for a little bit more seasoning, some more of the paprika. So we're using my Cajun seasoning. And we're going to put it back in the oven to carry on cooking. Okay, so while that is cooking, Like I said, guys, this was not meant to be a proper cook day, so I'm all over the place in terms of my kitchen. Everything's everywhere. So, let's see here. So, let's get my fryer. Pull it down to here. Let's open it up. And let's give that a bit mix. And then we're just going to drop it and I've kept the fish really chunky because I really want nice I need to change my oil tomorrow because I'm doing another dish so let's just put these in see how these cook um, and then in 15 minutes when our fish is ready we should have dinner. Uh-oh, that's my phone going. All righty, we'll come back to you in a second. Pause it. Hey, babies, how you doing, people? I'm back. Now, let me see how our food is doing. Let me see here in the oven. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Look at that. So those are our mixed chickpeas with our Cajun seasoning, smoked paprika, onions, cherry tomatoes, um, rocket, and with our fish on top. And as well, with the extra fish, I've made fish cakes. So don't they look good? So wait a minute, thing is, the proof is in the taste. Here we go. Let me see if I can do that. <laughs> oh no, I, I stop. <laughs> they look a bit like onion bhajis as well. Yeah. Onion bhajis is an Indian dish and they do look like onion bhajis. I will make them another day. But these are not. These are my mixed fish cakes. And my fish and mixed chickpeas. So, please people, like, subscribe, become a Patreon, become one of my members of my family. Because we are family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See you in the next one.